Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, when it comes to the election so far, you know, the Democrats are pulling out all the stops to garner more votes because they know that they're gonna lose out in the end when it comes to the election, you know, and a lot of people were seeing this sort of thing since a year ago at this point because of how um, the whole new president smell had worn off and people were starting to realize how bad Biden is and let alone Harris and the rest of the Democratic Party as far as that goes and the Republicans were just seizing that opportunity you know but considering when it came to the Virginia and uh, New Jersey gubernatorial election you know it has always been an indicator on how things will play out in the midterms you know and it's one of the things that I had said many times before when it came to the presidential election about two years ago that the Republicans weren't really that upset over Trump losing too much because they know that Biden will be a disaster for the Democrats and I think in some ways they, they probably set up the Democrats, you know, in this sort of predicament in the first place of that sort. Yeah. But it's one of the things that I kind of said there that the, the Republicans are a lot smarter than they give, than the, than the Democrats give them credit for, you know. And a lot of times there's, there's some... A lot of times there are just Republicans that like to make the Democrats think that they're, you know, not that bright or whatever it is, you know, anti-intellectuals or something of that sort. And when they're just really playing a more masterful 3D chess without the Democrats realizing it. You know? And a lot of times I think that the Republicans had played the Democrats in their own game. Yeah? So, it's just another thing to put into consideration. Yeah? But that's also sort of the reasoning of why the Democrats were also trying to pass a lot of bills through before the end of the session and all because they know that once the Republicans win the House and or the Senate you know they're going to do a whole lot more things down the road that could really cost the, the Democrats there you know and I think the first thing they're going to do if they get a majority, is impeach Biden, you know, not because of the Hunter, um, thing there, but just out of spite for impeaching Trump, for that matter, you know, and a lot of the other little things they'll probably do out of spite, you know, because of how much, you know, they try to screw with Trump Except for the fact that he had just won fair and square in, in 2016, you know, and as well as like screwing with the election in 2020, for that matter, you know, and all of this other stuff, you know, with the FBI investigations and all, they're gonna probably 
cut the budget of the FBI or reform the FBI, do all sorts of shenanigans to the FBI, you know, and that's going to cause a lot more problems down the road. Yeah. You know? All because they were trying to prevent Trump from running again. You know. And then what's going to really happen if somehow, you know, the Republicans to do, could do the same thing to the next Democratic candidate of that sort after Biden. You know, just to be all petty, do things out of spite, you know, for that matter. You know what I mean? But then, you know, the Republicans had done these sort of things out of spite when it came to Obama back then, you know, as far as the obstructionism and all this sort of stuff there, simply because they just couldn't admit to the fact that they just didn't like Obama because of his race. When everybody knew that Obama was going to win over in, in 08, simply because of Trump was an idiot. I mean, not Trump. I mean, Bush was an idiot, in a way. Yeah. But same thing. You know? But it never ceases to amaze these people about how history repeats itself sometimes. You know what I mean? So anyways, I guess that's probably it. So talk to you guys later.